Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular version of our pinball tutorial series, we're gonna set up those bonus bumpers that are 10, 20, and 30, and then also set up global scoring. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are back in Unity. We've already set up our bumpers. We've got all kinds of different things happening now within the game. I need to go ahead and set up these bonus points. These bonus point bumpers, what I wanna happen is those to only give 10 points or give certain a number of points when they are lit. So we need to do something first to make them look lit or unlit. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the two white areas of this bumper and I wanna make those gray. So it looks like they're unlit. And what we can do is we can actually change the color in our Playmaker FSM. So here we are going to change our circle white I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to be an initial color of CFCF, CF. So it's kind of grayed out. I'm also gonna do that here with my circle gradient and we'll change that color as well. All right, so those are both kind of grayed out. So you can see this looks like it's unlit and then this one looks like it's lit. So that's the initial state that we're going to set up. The other thing we need to do is currently our ball is not going to do anything with this because we don't have a collider on it. So we actually need to go ahead and add a collider to our bonus. So let's go ahead and add a circle collider 2D. Now I also want there to be some physics materials that are gonna be attached to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a couple new physics materials. So again, these are, because we're in 2D, we're gonna go into the 2D category and go physics material 2D, and we'll call this our bonus bumper one. And then I'm also gonna have a bonus bumper two. So when the, the bumper is lit up, I want it to be more reactive than it normally is. And so in our bonus bumper one, currently the friction is set to four, which I think is perfectly fine. And then bounciness, let's maybe have it be 0.3. So it's gonna be a minimum amount of bounciness. And then in our bonus bumper two, I want it to be more bouncy, okay? So we're gonna take our friction down slightly. And this, these are numbers you can play with, but in this case, I'm gonna make this maybe 1.2. Yeah, cool. So I think that works. All right, so that's gonna work. So now we need to go ahead and add that physics material to our collider. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start out with bumper or bonus bumper one physics material. Cool. Now that we have that set up, let's think a little bit about the logic of the bumper itself. Now, I only want to provide points when it's lit up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two different Playmaker FSMs. One that's going to be specifically a timer that's going to turn it on and it's going to wait for it to or leave it on for a certain period of time. And then we're going to turn it off and then leave it off for a period of time. So let's go ahead and set up a new Playmaker FSM for our bumper. So in my bonus 10 here, I'm gonna add a new Playmaker FSM. And again, because we're gonna have multiple Playmaker FSMs here, I wanna go ahead and title this. So let's go ahead and give this a name and I'm just gonna call this timer. Okay, so now that we have that, let's have two states here. I wanna have bonus off and then we'll create a second state. So add a new state we'll have this be bonus on, okay? Now, the cool thing we can do is to go ahead and use a weight, and we're gonna do a random weight here. So that way it's not just always consistent. There's a little bit of time difference here. So let's go ahead and add a random weight to the beginning, and we're gonna set this to maybe three to four seconds. So when it's off, and we're gonna have it do a new event and we'll call this bonus on add that transition we're going to go over to our bonus on and i'm going to go ahead and just use another random weight here and we'll just leave it on for maybe one to two seconds and then we're going to go ahead and create a new event and we'll call this bonus off add that transition and go back okay so all this is doing is just giving us a little bit of time when the bonus is on and when the bonus is off. Okay, so that's all this is gonna do. Now what we're gonna do is use this to trigger another Playmaker FSM. So let's go ahead and add that other Playmaker FSM. So I'm gonna unlock here, go ahead and add FSM. We're gonna new FSM here, but we'll just call this bonus. 
All right. And so in this, this first state is going to be bonus off. All right. And I want to go ahead and create two events here. Bonus off and then another one of bonus on. Okay. So we're going to have a period of time when this is going to be off and a period of time when it's going to be on. And it's going to be doing different things during that time. Okay. So, and let's go ahead and create a new state here. And this is going to be our bonus on. And let's go ahead and add tr global transitions to both of these because we, we're going to target this with our timer. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add a new global transition of bonus on. And then to the bonus off state, we're going to add a global transition of bonus off. Okay, cool. All right, so now what is it we want to do? Well, when our bonus is off, we're going to set this material to be our bonus bumper one. Okay, so what we can do is uh, during our bonus off, we want our collider material. So I'm going to drag that down. So we're going to set a property. And then the property that we're going to set is under shared material. We're going to set our physics material 2D. Now, currently we have set up as the off time as being our bonus bumper one. So let's go ahead and just drag that in. So we're going to set that material. And then in our bonus on, we want that material to be more reactive. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And we just need to swap out our to our bonus bumper two. Cool. So we're going to do that. The other thing that we're going to do here is that when our bonus is off, we want these these graphics to look like they're off. So in the that's not lit. So what we can also do here is to let me grab my gradient circle. And I want to take the sprite render, drag that down. And what I'm going to do is set the sprite color of this material. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and set the color to be that CF, CF, CF. Cool. And then we're going to do that also with this circle white as well. So I'm going to drag that down. We are going to do sprite render, set sprite color. And then cool, I can just sample that color there. So all right, so I have both of these source setting that color. Let's go ahead and just copy those, go over to our bonus on. And what we're going to do is just change these colors to white. So when our bonus is on, we're just going to set these to white. Boom, there we go. So we're turning that on and we're turning it off. OK, so the other thing that we want to do here is every time our bonus is on, whenever our ball hits our bumper, we want to add 10 points to our score. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and set up a global variable. So we're going to do this pinball score and we're going to make this be an int variable. So it's a whole number. So no decimal points. We're going to leave it as zero at the beginning. And so during this time, if our ball hits our bumper, we want to add 10 points to our score. So what we're going to do collision event 2D. So collision 2D event. And anytime something collides with our owner and it has a tag of pinball ball, we want to go ahead and send a new event. So we're going to do a new event. Let's call this add to score. I'm going to add that transition. Let's go ahead and go to a new state. And we'll call this add to score. And what we're going to do here is just do an int add. And the int that we're going to be adding to is our global variable of pinball score. And we're just going to add 10 points. And then once it's finished, let's go ahead and do a finished transition. And we're going to go back to our bonus on. Cool. All right. So that is all set up. That is ready to rock and roll. Let's go back to our bonus and we're going to go back to our timer. Now we have all of our bonus stuff set up. Now we need to actually trigger it. So in our bonus off, what we want to do is we want to call to the other Playmaker FSM and say, you know, bonus off. And if it's on, we want to say it on. So we're going to do a send event by name. We're going to send to a the game object FSM and of the owner is our bonus. And then the send event is going to be bonus off, I think is what I have those set up to be. So bonus off and bonus on. So let's go back here and we're going to send the event of bonus off. Now I can just copy and paste this. 
and this is going to be bonus on. And there we go. So now we're using one as the one Playmaker FSM as the timer, and then one that's turning everything on, adding, taking care of scoring for us, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and give this a test real quick to see if it works. So let's hit play. Just drag down. So you can see that bumper has now turned on and there it went and turned off. So it turned on, turned off. There we go, cool. So let's go ahead and fire a ball and let's see how this works. Boom, there we go. We're hitting it. And we should have a little bit of score. So I'm checking in my bonus score or my pinball score, and you can see I have a value of 20. So we know that we've that is all working. Now I think the time is just a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and just edit those real quick. So let's go into our timer. I'm gonna have these bonuses be this time be just a little bit longer. So our random weight here, let's maybe say five to six seconds when it's off. And then when it's on, it might be a little bit too short. So let's go three to four. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And then what I need to do is just to copy and paste these components from one of these bu bumpers to another. So I can easily do a copy component and then I'm just gonna paste component over here. So I'm just gonna right click and paste component as new. So we've got timer on our bonus 30 and let's do the same thing on our bonus 20, then I can also copy the other one. So we're gonna copy this component and then same thing. Paste component as new and paste component as new. Cool, now the cool thing is with these being separate as opposed to using all the same type of logic is that I can go ahead and change these numbers. So if I only want the 30 point to be on for a shorter period of time or a longer wait time, I can go ahead and set that up, which I think I'm going to do. So in my bonus 30, I'm gonna have the random wait, let's say maybe be 10 to 12 seconds. And I'll go ahead and just leave it on for about the same amount of time. And then my bonus 20, uh, let's maybe have this be seven to eight seconds. And I also need to go ahead in, in my bonus 30 and 20, just to add circle colliders as well. So circle collider and circle collider. And I wanna be able to use these later on to build different boards. So I need to make these as prefabs. So again, let's just go ahead and take these and I'm gonna drag them down into my bin, pinball prefabs. And now I have these as prefabs that I can drag out and use anytime I want. They already have the logic attached to them and are ready to go. Now, the thing is we don't actually see the score. So we need to actually go ahead and add some score. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have my in game canvas UI. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add an image into my, my UI. So in my canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and add a UI image. And this is gonna be score background. And I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate that. And let's go ahead and take the first image. I'm gonna use my score as the sprite in there. And I'm gonna change the color of that to be black. And then the score background, let's call this score outer. And I'm gonna have that score outer be the sprite for that one. I need to go ahead and change the color of this and let's maybe go with something more of that purple, but a little bit lighter so that it does show up on the background slightly. And then I just need to size it and change it and put it in place. So that it's something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the acre point so it's centered on the top. Perfect, that way it's not gonna move when we scale our UI. The next thing I need to do is to add a, uh, some text for the score. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a UI text mesh pro and I need to also set this text to be up in that position so let's just change the position here of this text so something like that and I want to also change this to have a bunch of numbers in it so I need to size it to make it work so I'm just going to do zero 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 and go to defont real quick and We'll do something like digital. 
Let's see what kind of results we can get here. Yeah, this right here looks perfect. So let's go ahead and download that. So I'm gonna grab this font, I'm gonna drag it into my fonts. So this is a TTF font. So what I'm gonna do is my DS Digi. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Window and Text Mesh Pro and Font Asset Creator. And so we need to go ahead and generate a font based off of this. So let's go and here's my Digi. We're gonna select that, Generate Font Atlas. And what this is doing is creating an atlas of all the different, the characters that go in that font. And we're gonna go ahead and save it. Cool, and then I can go ahead and close that window. I'm gonna select that text. So let's go ahead and rename it here. We'll call it score text. And now I can use that font. So here's my fonts and Digi is there. So now we are using more something that looks like score text. So let's have this be a few less characters. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that works, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna center this and then just reposition it a little bit. And I need to also make sure this is anchored in the right position. So we're gonna anchor it to the center top. And then that way if we our UI changes, it will change with it. Boom, there we go. So now let's go ahead and when we add to our score, we need to go ahead and update this UI. So what I'm gonna do is to go to my game manager and I'm gonna keep track of the score here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new empty game object. We'll call a score manager, all right? So we're gonna need to add a Playmaker FSM here. And the thing that we're gonna do with this Playmaker FSM is that we just wanna continually update our score based off of whatever this pinball score is, okay? So here we're gonna update score. A couple things I need to do. One is we need to take this int score and we need to change that from an int to a string value. And then once, we're gonna, once we have that, then we can take that string value and update that text on the top. So here we are going to do an int string. So convert int to string. And the variable that we're gonna take is our global pinball score. And we're gonna set up a new variable that is pinball score text. Okay, so it's taking that int, changing it over to a string value. And we wanna make sure we set this up every frame. The other thing we need to do is to update that text that's on our screen. Easiest way to do that is to actually just take that text, score text, drag it down, and we're going to do a set property. And then the property that we're gonna set is the actual text of that game object. So we're gonna do text and string, and we're gonna update it with that variable that we just created called pinball score text. And we're gonna make sure that's updated with every frame. And now let's give this a test. Boom, there we go. We are now adding to our score. So sweet. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.